Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This video I'm going to go through the Gospel of Thomas and talk about how Christ was an uh, inner shaman, an inner alchemist. Um, this comes from the Nag Hammadi scriptures, an uh, incredible book. Uh, you know, I think it's got some profound teachings in it. Um, was This book was found on a foot cliff along the Nile River near the city of Nag Hammadi in 1945. An Egyptian peasant, I don't know why they have to say peasant, but it says peasant, and that's a large storage jar containing ancient manuscripts. The discovery turns out to be one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of the past century. Treasure of fourth century text. The manuscripts are the scriptures of the ancient mystical tradition commonly called Gnosticism, from the Greek Gnosis, that is secret knowledge. I see a lot of things online about going, oh, the Gnostics won't think this and the Gnostics, please do not even try and label me a Gnostic or label me anything. Uh, you have no business in doing that. So, you don't know my life, so. The Gospel of Thomas, um, I've gone through on a couple of podcasts before the the first 27 sayings. There's 114 sayings in all. Um, this one, uh, I want to just go through at random and kind of pick ones out that spring out to me. Just from my journey and what I've learned through my, with my mentor and through, um, you know, putting myself on the cross of transformation over the past sort of decade really and doing all the holy trinity within with my mentor and my I am self so I truly think these things were from Christ the, the person that knew this stuff in here clearly knew about inner alchemy um, whether they did all the alchemy I don't know it seems like they did um, they were teaching in a extremely metaphorical and didactic way and you know there's some amazing things in this so I'm gonna start with number 30 Jesus said where there are three deities they are divine where there are two or one I am with that one now this is takes quite a long answer it's not a short myopic view on the world which someone might give out when they don't have the full picture um from my perspective and you can go on your own journey to your own inner journey to understand if this is true you you may not know it as truth immediately it may take some time to understand or you may just say, no, that's not for me or whatever, but where, the three, where there are three deities, they are divine, where there are two or one, I am with that one. Now, for me, the three deities, and I can check on my body testing, well, is this true? For me, this is, resonates as truth. Um, uh, the divine masculine, the divine feminine, and the inner child and this is with you know represented in the in the story of Jesus when he was born and the Holy Trinity and this is the makeup of our inner being the foundation of our inner being this is why the darker energies have wanted to split the Holy Trinity up by putting crazy thoughts in people's heads creating not soul aligned things on this planet when it comes to understanding this holy trinity within there's a great attack on the nuclear family attack on gender roles attack on race all of the attacks on separation are just pushing you away from knowing this truth and so it's just been attack after attack to so get to get to the truth of this you had to be an inner shaman to fight 
the interdimensional ones who didn't want you to know this stuff. That's what my mentor did, and that's what her partner did, and that's what I did, and that's what a few other people I know have done. So the three deities, it's pretty hard to know them through modern culture. There's not, unless you go through my book or meet my mentor or find some teacher who knows. I, I don't know, there might be teachers in other languages other than English, but I don't know many teaching here in English. Uh, you have to know uh, the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine and the Inner Child and how to raise them up in an inner family uh, on an alchemical level to raise them to be the highest versions of themselves and, and that takes years of work from my experience it's about knowing oneself fully and entirely knowing that you have the feminine within you even if you're a man that you have the masculine within you even if you're a woman and how to wake up the masculine first uh, doesn't matter what gender you are, you have to wake up the masculine inside us first, inside you, to raise up your inner feminine and then hold your inner child um, at a high level of alchemy, a high, a high level of a high level of inner maturity. Um, this really takes work and uh, it's not easy. It's not for snowflakes, as I said on the other video. And what I said may not make no sense to you, but if if you believe that that you have an inner masculine and he represents integrity and unconditional love, the highest levels in the divine feminine that embodies nurturing love and innocence on the highest levels, and that you have an inner child that is playful loving and free uh, or has the potential to be most when i started the journey my inner child was like a baby uh, i was crying uh, because you know my partner at the time those big arguments and it was a mess and i was a mess and then i reached out for help to the universe and the universe gave me my mentor and then she rose up my inner child and then I started getting attacked by beings every time I would do this work with her. And I was like, what is going on? Um, because I did ayahuasca just before that. And uh, after doing ayahuasca in Costa Rica in 2015, then two weeks later, I didn't have any energy in my body and I didn't know what was going on. Uh, I was like walking around like a zombie, no food, no sleep would do anything for me. And it was kind of a mess. Um, and the woman at the hotel I was with, she owned it. it, was a small hotel and she was speaking to everyone, she was worried about me. So she picked up the phone to this mentor of hers at the time and said, yeah, I've got this guy, Steve, here, he's an English guy who's stunned ayahuasca and he's got like no energy and he's like a zombie, can you help him? And she was on the other side of the call and said, Sure, but yeah, I can feel he's got these um, beings in the other dimension uh, siphoning off his energy. And then she was like, okay, I'll tell him how much will it be. Uh, just say it'll be a donation and then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can delete these contracts with the beings in the other dimensions and I think I can get his energy back. Okay, I'll, I'll let him know and see what he says. Thanks. Thanks so much. So she comes to me. I'm in my hotel room. And I'm like, um, she said, what? Um, because I didn't know anything about these other dimensional beings at the time. And I was like, okay, I'll pay $50 if she can get rid of this stuff. And then we got on Skype. She helped me cut the contracts with each beings in other dimensions. And then half an hour after the call, I had my energy back. So that was weird. And then, because uh, I was not aware of that world before. And then I started doing more work with her. And then we started doing work on the, the inner child, as I said. And then the feminine, and the, sorry, the masculine, then the feminine. And then, then I started channeling her partner who had died a few years back through me and we started clearing the universe of all the astral stuff that wouldn't let us 
get to know these three deities fully and completely. This was 2015, 2016. So at that time, I was just like a normal dude, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll just do this, whatever. The, it just feels like I'll do it, whatever. Didn't really tell many people about it, so we would get on, we'd clear the astral realm, so I would get my soul ripped out and, you know, generally lose my mind every day because I didn't know what was going on. She would have to clear me and then I would feel no more again. And then, um, we started clearing stuff behind the Big Bang and then did some work in Joshua Tree in Charlotte, California and cleared beings that were stopping the ascension and blah, 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 blah. I've got hundreds of pages of notes that we, stuff we cleared just to get to know these three deities. So, yeah, um, it's been quite the trip. And none of this was on any psychedelics. This was just opening up our chakra systems high and deep. And the feminine chakra system goes into the earth when you open that up so you can reach more dimensions. And when you reach more dimensions, you uh, feel all the shit in the astral realms. And they just attack you because they don't really like that very much. This is why all supposedly all those satanist people that are doing these rituals they try they get all the energy to run the dark world from the astral realm but that astral realm is clearer now because those motherfuckers haven't got any energy to latch on to that's why there's a great awakening right now if you didn't realize so where there are two or one so this is the good news um i am with that one so if you haven't known those deities and yet you call christ consciousness to you to help you and he'll be with you that's great news how beautiful that is and that's why they say christ saves so that kind of answers that question the next one um 54 jesus said blessed are the poor for yours is heaven's kingdom well, I would say financially could be poor as right now because uh, I haven't really worked on my business over the last year. I've just been fighting fascism constantly and I, I have like the most debt I've ever been in my life. And the poor ones right now are the ones being struck off the planet by this great reset. Well, they're oh so loving and beautiful ways where they just don't care about the human body and they don't care about psychology and the psychology of children and they don't care about I don't know anything so apart from virtue signaling or whatever the fuck else they want to do so the ones who are poor right now well you're committing yourself to the truth because Christ is truth and love is truth. If you're committed to falsities and out of integrity thing, you're gonna die and you're never gonna reach heaven's kingdom because it's the gates are open. So that's pretty simple. Um, 66, Jesus said, show me the stone the builders rejected this is the cornerstone. From my experience, this is the I am self. The I am is throughout scripture and well known to people, but there is a kind of a lack of engagement. And thanks to my mentor who told me probably the wisest thing on earth. She didn't say she would enlighten me with my I am self. I will let enlighten myself with my I am self. And you can't have access to it. It's like this phone call. You have to pick up the phone and say, I am that I am, calling my I am self to activate my soul. And then, you know what? Things will start to happen. So, what he's saying there is, the builders, when you're building the temple of your own being, if you reject the I am self, you've rejected your whole self. You, you, you're fucking dead, basically. So anyone who works with me who rejects the I am has lost immediately. And I can't work with them. And 
if you're ever going to reject your I am and not even connect with it into your higher self, take any time to do it, and then you're going to have problems. The best way you can start doing that, and I'm not, you know, saying it's anyone's fault really because the education hasn't been there. I just went out and searched for it myself through the path that was so full of darkness that, you know, your soul would be sick for an eternity trying to just deal with the stuff. But now it is accessible education. I, I, I have the access to the education my mentor does. A couple of other people do. We can put this education out there. So if you want to know more, then I would appreciate your support sharing this video. Divine plan aligned I am and, and alignment and calling yourself in alignment with your I am. I am aligned with my I am. Divine plan aligned I am. Saying these things out loud really help to activate your I am self. That's a basic starting point. If I go into too much detail here, you won't know what I'm talking about and it really requires um, astral clearing as well. So I would recommend learning finger dowsing and crystal dowsing because you need to know how to clear yourself. If you can't clear yourself energetically, you won't rise as high as you want to go. And that means you have to cleanse your body, stop taking things that affect your pineal gland like anything uh, just do research on that there's enough research on the internet of how to clear your pineal gland just search that i source my own spring water for example i don't use fluoride toothpaste never had for like a decade or more you got to take account of what your body wants nutritionally i take for example um heresium or lion's manes mushroom uh, on the daily with the smoothie and spirulina and chlorella and um, a whole range of um, foods that help my body um, be as nutritionally optimal as possible you know things like um, reishi mushroom also is great for immunity uh, cordyceps I like as well uh, there's a whole range of mushrooms out there that are built for our own good I recommend going through Paul Stamets, um documentary there's so much stuff out there on the internet these days that you can't really go wrong so yeah I've gone through three things there I realized that I'm quite aggressive and uh, annoyed in my delivery I'm still perfecting myself I'm only 37 I started this journey a decade ago. I'm still refining myself. I'm not a speaker like Jordan Peterson, who I really respect, um, and I hope to speak to him someday. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm learning my voice. Uh, I am pretty aggressive as a person, as a soul, to set fires up everywhere on, on truth, because the reason why I have this fire any fiery energy is because we've been burned by the false reality that's been imposed on this earth for eons. And there's been lights getting through all the time. You know, I grew up watching The Lion and the Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. He was a light. Carl Jung, Socrates, you know, Solzhenitsyn, Christ. We are all lights here, so everyone has an opportunity. My mentor was the wisest woman on earth. I mean, my partner's the brightest light on earth, in my opinion. And, you know, there's lights everywhere. Uh, I believe there's a light in everyone. There's some needs turning up a bit, so I have to fire up people. I'm, I've cut so many people off, friends, family this last year because they have not done anything in terms of undoing the lie that I can see and they were enforcing the lie, the great lie. And so I'm fired up. I'm still going to be fired up for the next years until this is all burnt down and all the lies have gone from this planet and every truth is revealed as Christ said in the Bible. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, perhaps tell Jordan Peterson to speak to me because I'd love to speak to him about uh, the Gospel of Thomas, the, you know, the Bible. I haven't studied the Bible fully, but I, I get a grasp on it every time I go back to it. 
and then many other things to reality of consciousness and the intersection of consciousness and reality i've got some ideas on that which i'm going to do another video soon on so yeah thanks for watching uh if you want my book you can get it at heartinitiation.com it's called my ecstatic rebirth the 10 keys to unleash your power purpose and pleasure and it's three hours what your book and it's free so uh, at the moment it's still free heartinitiation.com i would appreciate you being there. Thanks so much.